Okay, I'm getting ready to replace the thermostat housing on a 2003 Ford Focus. I'm going to try to show you how to do it. This is my first time, okay? It's got a little hole in the side of it right there and all the fluid leaked out. First thing you want to do is take out this battery tray. We've already taken the battery out. There's a couple bolts there we'll take out and one here. We'll pop this out so we have access to work on this. You can see there's three bolts, one, two, and then there's a third one right down there. And then there's um, three or four hoses we gotta take off. This one, this one, and then there's one back under there. So give me a minute here and I'll get this tray out and then I'll do another update. All right, so we're getting ready to take out this battery tray we got this bolt right here can you see it mm -hmm. we're gonna take this bolt out and this bolt right here and then there's one right here it looks like there was one right here in the front but uh, somebody's already taken it out so we're gonna take this out and we'll be right back all right, got this out. Now we've got access right here. There's one, two, and three bolts. And then there's this little heat shield thingy that's kind of in the way, but I don't know. Might just take it off or slide it out of the way. Um, watch this. All right, so I've got a um, 10 millimeter, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the extension on. Don't you need the hoses off first? Oh, yeah, I do. All right, I gotta take the hoses off first. Good point, because it's easier to pull the hoses off while it's in a secure position. So, all right, stop it. Come up nice and close down here. Now I'm gonna take these four hoses off first. There's one on top right here. We gotta release this right here. So there's one. We'll just set that aside. There's one right here. If I can get to it, it's gonna take a little manipulation to make this work, but. That one's free. Pop that loose. There's the top one. And then, I don't know if you can see this one very well, but there's one right below it. Oh, that one's free. Okay. Pull that out of the way. Because this thing comes forward and down out through this hole. And then we got one more back here. And it's a little bit harder to get to right through here. This is where it would be handy to have a, a cable clamp tool. Uh, what I might need is a screwdriver. I ain't here to... I gotta be careful with this. Alright, let's see here. Alright, this back hose clamp is way more difficult with these pliers. It's kind of hard to reach in here. So, I'm going to try to find another tool and I'll be right back. Alright, you can pause it. Alright, so I got a needle nose pliers that are, that have curved tips on them. I released it, now I'm going to try to push it back with the screwdriver. There we go. It's going. Sorry for the pause. We had to find tools and stuff. 
This is what it's like if you don't have the right tools, guys. Do not slice the hose. Now I have a better angle at it, I think. Wonder if I can get on it with the pliers now, I think. Or these. Shit. It's just really tight. <laughs> Don't. Ouch. <laughs> Curved tip needle nose. Let's try these again. If I can keep them clamped on it. Oh, it's coming. Aha, there's the angle I want, right there. There it goes, there it goes. Got it. All the way back. And now I can pop that hose off right there. Exton? What? Be quiet. The hose is off. All right. Now we can take off these three bolts and replace it. All right, I'm gonna take a little break. All right, here we go. I got a 10 millimeter socket with an extension. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking the bolts out. Those coming off easy, most of them don't come off that easy. Yeah, kind of hitting this little, well, I'm kind of hitting this hose right here, or this metal line, but it's free now. Just leave it there. Get this one here. Okay, it's nice and loose. So I'll just do it by with fingers. That one's free. Now the bottom one. Yeah, if you take that battery tray out, you got plenty of room to work. Oh yeah. Nice, it's nice and free. Nice and loose. It's just greasy. Bear with me here, just about got it. Yeah, if you want to fast forward through some of these parts, you can. Mm -hmm. All right, there's the bottom bolt. Here's the top bolt. They're all the same length. So I'm just setting them there. They said to pull this down and out through here. And then right out the bottom. It's off. There you have it. There's the hole that was in it. Now we're gonna get the new one and put it on. All right, you can pause and I'll be right back. All right, so here we have the new thermostat housing and um, inside the bag comes the new seal or the new gasket. And I got one with the thermostat built in. That's what I would recommend. Don't buy them separate. Just buy the whole new kit. If you're replacing this, do them both, okay? So buy one with the thermostat already in it. Otherwise you'd have to pull the thermostat out. Just buy it with it. Here's the seal. Okay. We want to uh, put the seal in right here. This is the new one. Okay. 
We got that. And hopefully that stays in place while we're putting it back on. It should, it goes in there pretty good, but next. Okay, these old hose clamps are a pain in the ass to work with when you're putting it back together. Oh, when you're taking it off, but when you're putting it back together. So what I've got here is uh, some new, what are these called again, these hose clamps? Just the hose clamps, regular. Just house. regular hose clamps. So I'm gonna find one that fits on each of these hoses and use it. That way I can just reach in there with my screwdriver and tighten them down because I'm not gonna fidget with the pliers. And I don't have a, a hose clamp removal tool, so these will work better for us. So we're gonna slide that one on the back. So that's gonna be ready to go. Snug it up just a tiny bit there so it's not completely loose. And then I've got a couple more hoses here. One here, one here. And then, um, where's that other hose, Brando? There's one that goes on one the One on the bottom there. <clears throat> so here's the one on the bottom. By the wires over here. The one that comes over the top. Where the fucker go? If we could find the other hose, there is another. Oh, here another. it is. Duh. It's under everything. So this one goes on top. On top. So I think I'll use this little clamp because it's easy to get to. I'm not going to worry about that one. It's but like these two right here, I'm not going to fight those. So what I'll do is pop those off. And here's a bigger clamp for that one. And here's a medium. I'm getting bit. Here's a medium clamp for this one right here. You think? Yep. So yeah, we got one there. You think I should turn it like this? No, we'll leave it like that. Right? Yep. It's a little bigger than I would have liked. Let me check for one more here. Maybe this one. I got like four different sizes of hose clamps. Yeah, there we go. That's the one. I keep getting bit by dew flies. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, so there's that one. And then, This one is. And here's my big one. Right in front of you, up here. Ah, right here. Perfect. Right on the money. Just what I need. All right, so there's that. All right, now here's the new part. And we're gonna have to stick it back in from underneath. this come up under this hose right here like this all right we're gonna pause we're back okay I know this is an extremely long video and it's not the best one but it's gonna do the trick now just wipe this off before you put everything back on you know there's some grease on here and just wipe that off. And then what we wanna do is we wanna try to hook up this hose clamp in the back first, or this back hose, while we have room to work. So we'll put that on first, right there. All right, and I'm getting bit on the leg. I hope you can see that real good. I'm gonna tighten that baby down. This is so much easier than those other clamps. Way perfect. Yeah, definitely get the clamps, the little hose clamps with the uh, straight head and just screw them down tight. Don't screw them down too tight because this is a plastic housing. So, 
get them nice and snug. We'll check for leaks in a little bit. All right, there's the first one. Now, the bottom one we'll put on right here. All right, there's that one. See how much easier that is to get into there? Oh, that's so much better, Brando. Yeah, it is. Way better idea. It's not too hard to reach in here once you've got all, all this stuff out of the way. Pretty snug. Now we'll take this one, push it on. That's in place. Loosen it up a little bit so I can get it over the hump. That's on. Pretty snug. My seal is still in place. So now, I'm gonna attempt to bolt this back in place. bolt started uh -huh. get this one started oh yeah get the bottom one in I'll put that top hose on last I'm back. Had a little, ran out of memory on my other phone. So now we're on another phone. I got these snugged up right here. Um, I'm just gonna tension them up. You don't have to get them too tight because it's a plastic housing. So you wanna be careful. Just kinda. Tight, but not too tight. Okay, those are snugged up. Now, I've got this one last hose to put back on top here. I'm just using the hose clamp that came with it because it's not hard to reach. And I can get to it with pliers. So if it ever needed to be replaced again, it wouldn't be that hard. It's just those other ones down below. Maybe I should have. There it goes. Yeah. Almost there, guys. There. Okay. So I got <laughs> I got it bolted on. I got all the hose clamps back on, and that, my friends, is how you change out a thermostat housing for a 2003 Ford Focus. And I'm sure it's a range of years that this will work on. This is a two liter engine, dual overhead cam. Uh, you can see it looks like it's back to new. Let's take a peek, one last peek there. Um, if you have any questions, just hit me up in the comments. I'll put a link below the video where you can get this housing online for a lot less money than what you'd pay in a store.
All right, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Peace.